Good morning and welcome to our service of Holy Communion for this, the fifth Sunday of Easter. Before we begin, can I just say thank you to everyone who helped make our service on Friday for VE Day um, a great success, particularly all those from the Royal British Legion, to Emma Bishton for, for the music, for Stuart Howells for the video and for the Reverend Nick Adley for his homily. It's wonderful to be able to share that service with you all even though we couldn't uh, meet together in person. If you didn't get a chance to join us, it's still available on our parish website, as well as the um, PAC Benefits Facebook page. So do take a chance to watch that if you'd like. So we begin our service this morning by singing our first hymn, Ye Choirs of New Jerusalem. So we meet in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you, and also with you. Almighty God, to whom all hearts are open, all desires known and from whom no secrets are hidden, cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of thy Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Our Lord Jesus Christ said, The first commandment is this. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is the only Lord, and you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind and with all your strength. The second is this. Love your neighbour as yourself. There is no other commandment greater than these. On these two commandments hang all the law and the prophets. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Christ died to sin once for all, and now he lives to God. Let us renew our resolve to have done with all that is evil, and confess our sins in penitence and faith. We say together, Most merciful God, Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, we confess that we have sinned in thought, word and deed. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbours as ourselves. In your mercy, forgive what we have been, help us to amend what we are, and direct what we shall be, that we may do justly. 
love mercy, and walk humbly with you, our God. Amen. Jesus Christ, risen Master and triumphant Lord, we come to you in sorrow for our sins and confess to you our weakness and unbelief. We have lived by our own strength and not by the power of your resurrection. In your mercy, forgive us. Lord, hear us and help us. We have lived by the light of our own eyes as faithless and not believing. In your mercy, forgive us. Lord, hear us and help us. We have lived for this world alone and doubted our home in heaven. In your mercy, forgive us. Lord, hear us and help us. Almighty God, who forgives all who truly repent, have mercy upon you, pardon and deliver you from all your sins, confirm and strengthen you in all goodness, and keep you in life eternal, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Let's say the Gloria together. Glory to God in the highest, and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, heavenly King, almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. The Collect for the Fifth Sunday of Easter. Let us pray. Almighty God, who through your only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, have overcome death and opened to us the gate of everlasting life, grant that as by your grace going before us, you put into our minds good desires, so by your continual help we may bring them to good effect. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. The reading from the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 7. Standing before the high priest and the council, Stephen, filled with the Holy Spirit, he gazed into heaven and saw the glory of God and Jesus standing at the right hand of God. Look, he said, I see the heavens opened and the Son of Man standing at the right hand of God. But they covered their ears and with a loud shout all rushed together against him. Then they dragged him out of the city and began to stone him. And the witnesses laid their coats at the feet of a young man named Saul. While they were stoning Stephen, he prayed, Lord Jesus, receive my spirit. Then he knelt down and cried out in a loud voice, Lord, do not hold this sin against them. And when he said this, he died. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, Alleluia. I am the first, the last, says the Lord, and the living one. I was dead, and behold, I am alive for evermore. Alleluia. Hear the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Do not let your hearts be troubled. Believe in God, believe also in me. In my father's house there are many dwelling places. If it were not so, would I have told you that I go to prepare a dwelling place for you? 
and if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and will take you to myself, so that where I am, there may be you may be also. And you know the way to the place where I am going. Thomas the disciple said to him, Lord, we do not know where you are going. How can we know the way? Jesus said to him, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. If you know me, you will know my Father also. For now on you do know him and have seen him. Philip said to him, Lord, show us the Father and we will be satisfied. Jesus said to him, I have been with you all this time, Philip, and you still do not know me. Whoever has seen me has seen the Father. How can you say, show us the Father? Do you not believe that I am in the Father and the Father is in me? The words that I say to you, I do not speak on my own, but the Father who dwells in me does his works. Believe me that I am in the Father and the Father is in me. But if you do not, then believe me because of the works themselves. Very truly, I tell you, the one who believes in me will also do the works that I do, and in fact will do greater works than these, because I am going to the Father. I will do whatever you ask in my name, so that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If in my name you ask me anything, I will do it. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. We affirm our faith in the words of the Creed. We believe in one God, the Father the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made. Being of one fa being with the Father, through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation he came down from heaven, was incarnate from the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary, and was made man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried. On the third day he rose again, in accordance with the Scriptures, he ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church, we acknowledge one baptism for the remission of sins, and we look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Let us pray in faith to God for the church and for the world. Grant that the church may always follow in the way of Christ, proclaim his truth and live his risen life. Keep Christian people in knowledge and service of the Father, that his will may be done on earth as it is in heaven. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. As the disciples were led to understand and taught to seek God in prayer, so may those who are counted wise in the world learn where true wisdom is to be found. Teach those in positions of authority to know that all earthly power is given from above. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. When our hearts are troubled, bless us with faith to offer strength and insurance in our homes and in our works. Bless all those in this community who help by teaching or example to bring people to know God 
and to walk in his ways. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Hear the prayers of those who cry out for relief in their afflictions, in sickness, poverty, loneliness, uncertainty. Grant them the assurance that Christ, who has gone before them, through suffering to glory, is near to them and will bring them home. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And we pray for the departed, for those who have come to the place which Christ has prepared for them, where they shall be with him forever. We pray that we may so follow him in this world, that we too shall be gathered into our Father's house. We pray all this in the name of Christ, the way, the truth and the life. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour Jesus Christ. Amen. Alleluia. Christ has been raised from the dead. The peace of the Lord be always with you and also with you. Be present, be present, Lord Jesus Christ, our risen High Priest, and make yourself known in the breaking of bread. Amen. The Lord be with you, and also with you. Lift up your hearts, we lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give thanks and praise. It is indeed right, it is our duty and our joy, at all times and in all places, to give you thanks and praise, Holy Father, Heavenly King, Almighty and Eternal God, through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. And now we give you thanks, because in his victory over the grave, a new age has dawned, a long reign of sin has ended, a broken world is being renewed and humanity is once again made whole. Therefore, with angels and archangels, and with all the company of heaven, we proclaim your great and glorious name, forever praising you and saying, Holy, 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 Lord God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. So accept our praises, Heavenly Father, through your Son, our Saviour Jesus Christ, and as we follow his example and obey his command, grant that by the powers of your Holy Spirit, these gifts of bread and wine may be to us his body and his blood. Who, in the same night that he was betrayed, took bread and gave you thanks. He broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, after supper, he took the cup and gave you thanks. He gave it to them, saying, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the New Testament, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. Therefore, Heavenly Father, we remember his offering of himself made once for all upon the cross. We proclaim his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension. 
and we look for the coming of your kingdom. And with this bread and this cup, we make the memorial of Christ, your Son, our Lord. Lord, by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. You are the Saviour of the world. So accept through him, our great high priest, this our sacrifice of thanks and praise. And as we eat and drink these holy gifts in the presence of your divine majesty, renew us by your spirit, inspire us with your love and unite us in the body of your son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Through him and with him and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, with all who stand before you in earth and heaven, we worship you, Father Almighty, with songs of everlasting praise. Blessing and honour and glory and power be yours for ever and ever. Amen. So let us pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. We break this bread to share in the body of Christ, though we are many. We are one body because we all share in one bread. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy upon us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Grant us peace. Jesus is the Lamb of God, who takes away the sin of the world, and blessed are those who are called to his supper. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word, and I shall be healed. Most merciful Lord, your love compels us to come in. Our hands were unclean. Our hearts were unprepared. We were not fit even to eat the crumbs from under your table. But you, Lord, are the God of our salvation and share your bread with sinners. So cleanse and feed us with the precious body and blood of your Son, that we may live in us and we in him, and that we, with the whole company of Christ, may sit and eat in your kingdom. Amen. once again I invite you to share in this holy communion which I consume on your behalf reminding as always that we are apart but we are one body because we share in Christ's body And so let us pray. Eternal God, whose Son Jesus Christ is the way, the truth and the life, grant us to walk in his way, to rejoice in his truth and to share his risen life, who is alive and reigns now and forever. Amen. We say together, Father of all, 
we give you thanks and praise that when we were still far off, you met us in your Son and brought us home. Dying and living, he declared your love, gave us grace and opened the gate of glory. So may we who share Christ's body live his risen life. We who drink his cup bring life to others, and we whom the Spirit lights give light to the world. Keep us firm in the hope that you have set before us, so that we and all your children shall be free, and the whole earth live to praise your name, through Christ our Lord. Amen. And a final blessing. The God of peace, who brought again from the dead our Lord Jesus Christ, that great shepherd of the sheep, through the blood of the eternal covenant, make you perfect in every good work to do his will, working in you that which is well pleasing in his sight. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be amongst you and remain with you and all those whom you love and care for, this day and always. Amen. And so we are raised to new life with Christ. Stay at home in his peace. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia.